Say hello to the tank. This samurai will hold objectives, rapidly gain points for your team, and levels incredibly fast. Unlike most builds, this one doesn't require you to even be that good at the game. With little effort on your part, you will find yourself regularly being the top ranked player on your team, and you don't have to be the master of the combat system to win games. The tank is a Shigoki, the heavy class of the samurai faction. The Shigoki is slow but strong, and this build makes full use of the advantages of the build while minimising the disadvantages. Stay on an objective, both boosting and defending it. If you're on an objective, you get 2 points per second instead of 1, and the Shigoki class gains renown faster than most builds while doing this, meaning you get your feats faster. This is basically all you want to do with this build. You are constantly gaining additional points for your team and ensuring the enemy team doesn't control all the objectives. As long as the rest of your team can hold their own in a fight, then you will pretty much be guaranteed a victory. If they aren't that good though, then you will struggle, as this build isn't designed to go on the offensive. If you do need to claw back some quick points though, then try to sneak your way to the enemy's main objective. Take it and hold it like you would your own. With any luck, they will be focused on fighting your teammates and won't notice that you're quietly getting more and more points for your team. When you do get engaged in a fight, focus on defending yourself and regularly throw your enemies around to either get them off the objective or get an environmental kill. The feats of this build are Throw Father, Rock Steady, Hard to Kill and Regenerate. All of these are passives as you don't want to rely on active feats and their cooldowns to help you out in fights. Throw Father is pretty self-explanatory. Use it to get enemies away from your objective and get environmental kills. To ensure you don't get thrown into a hole in the ground or pile of spikes, try to learn the difference in distance of throws between you and your enemy, and keep the fight far enough away that your enemy can't get an easy kill on you, but you can on them. The Rock Steady feat stops you from becoming unbalanced, be it from parries or throws. This is incredibly helpful for ensuring enemies can't stagger lock you and get in powerful combos, and it helps out so much with the survivability of this build. Hard to kill is great for holding up enemies for longer. As your health gets lower, your damage reduction increases, making it harder and harder for your enemy to kill you. This will bide you time, preventing them from taking your objective and allowing for a friendly to come along and help you in the fight. Last of all, we have Regenerate. More than anything, I went for this as I didn't want any activated feats in the build, but it's still a nice one to have, giving you even more survivability and ensuring you have a full health bar for every fight. On your arms, you will want to max out block damage resistance to prevent enemies from hurting you while you are blocking. On your weapons, you will want to focus on defense, throw distance, and revenge gain by injury or defense. With the right combination, you become nearly unkillable. Regularly activating revenge and throwing enemies a stunning distance, potentially letting you get out of combat temporarily and regenerate a little health. Completely ignore sprint speed and feet cooldown reduction. Neither of these fit into the build in any way, and you will want them bottomed out in order for the others to be boosted. The tank was a guardian for the Samurai of the Dawn Empire for years. His days were spent ensuring that the people of the Samurai remained safe, and this was easy for a while. During peacetimes, there were rarely large conflicts of any sort, and the mere presence of a Shigoki made people think twice about starting a fight. When the Viking raiders attack the Samurai, the tank is truly tested though. He fights hard against the Vikings, defending his land from the attackers, and mercilessly putting down anyone who attempts to defile the Samurai's new home. His efforts are in vain, however. Despite his skill, the Vikings outnumbered them, and their skill wasn't enough to save them. The tank is knocked unconscious fighting against a group of raiders, and wakes up sometime later to view a scene of destruction and fire. The bodies of the dead are scattered around him, and it is clear that they lost the battle. He wanders through the swamp for days, looking for signs of a samurai, and hoping to rejoin with his people. He has to be cautious though, as not only are there still Viking raiders scattered around, but the Knights of the Blackstone Legion arrived at some point too. He eventually finds his way to a group of samurai who inform him that all have united under a single banner, following Alon Orochi. He joins with the soldiers, and travels overseas to Ashfield. In the fight against Apollyon, he bravely defends the flank of the samurai army, ensuring their forces don't break, and destroying any knights who attempt to harm his people. Although he is sad to see the fighting continue after this battle, he will tirelessly devote himself to ensuring the safety of as many of his people as he can. 
Thank you very much for watching my latest For Honor build. Let me know in the comments below if there are any other builds you would like to see on my channel, and if you enjoyed the video then give it a like. If you're looking for some more stuff to watch right now, then either check out some of the playlists on my channel or click on one of the on-screen links.